Apparent motion. Optical illusions are often described as visual images that differ from reality. The eyes and brain see something that doesn't quite match the physical measurement of the image. Optical illusions can trick your brain into thinking something is moving when it really isn't, like this image here. Or here. It's hard for me to convince you otherwise, but this image isn't moving at all. It's our eyes and our brain interpreting the motion. Optical illusions also exist when we think we see something or mistake an image as real when it's not. Do you see something wrong with this picture? Like, check out the hand on this kid. Obviously, we know that that's not his hand, but in the picture, it certainly fools you at first glance. It turns out optical illusions don't have to be computer generated or photoshopped. They happen every day and night. The sun and the moon appear to be different sizes each day, even though their distance to Earth never change. And those aren't the only illusions in our sky. Like these illusions. These are time-lapse photographs taken at intervals and then played together in sequence to demonstrate motion. What you're seeing is the apparent motion of the stars in the sky. These streaks are what the camera is picking up as motion from the stars. So what we're looking at is apparent daily motion. Apparent daily motion states that the celestial objects, which are the sun, the moon, the stars, and planets, appear to move across the sky. The purpose of this video is to introduce you to the motions of each type of celestial object. Let's start with stars. So the paths of all celestial objects moving in the sky are circular, are parts of a circle called an arc. All the motion occurs at a constant rate of approximately 15 degrees per hour, or 360 degrees in 24 hours. These movements of celestial objects occur in a 24-hour period called daily motion. So if we were to look south in the sky at night, this is the motion we would witness of stars. At a middle latitude such as ours, stars appear to move from east to west in an arc. If I was looking east, I would see stars rising over the horizon. If I was looking west, I would see stars setting over the horizon. And finally, if I was looking north, towards the North Pole, or the North Star, Polaris, what I would see are the stars appearing to move in a complete circle around the North Star in a 24-hour period. All of these motions, as described, are apparent. In other words, we see them as motions because of our perspective from being on Earth. Uh, this diagram demonstrates the trails of stars moving around Polaris. So here's Star Trail 1, Star Trail 2, Star Trail 3. So using the information we just discussed, we can conclude how long a camera was taking a picture of these star trails. Uh, all three of the star trails complete a 90 degree angular distance. So Star Trail 1 goes from 0 to 90, Star Trail 2 goes from 150 degrees to 240, and then Star Trail 3 goes from 240 to 330. In all situations, that's a uh, change of 90 degrees. So what that means is that the camera was open, taking a time-lapse photog photograph over a period of X hours. How can we calculate how many hours? Well, if we know that daily motion takes 15 degrees per hour, right, in a 360 degree rotation or movement, um, we can use the math such as this. 90 by, divided by 15 gives us six hours. So the camera was taking pictures or taking a time-lapse photograph over six hours to capture 
these paths. The reason I point this out now is because this is a regions diagram or regions question that will come up uh, on test quizzes and possibly the regions. More on this later. Let's look at the apparent motion of the planets. So as seen from Earth, the planets exhibit daily motion similar to stars, but over weeks to months, some, apparent, some planets appear to move backwards with respect to the stars around them. So here's Mars in its path as seen from Earth. So watching Mars over the course of maybe uh, a few weeks, maybe a month or two, we see Mars make this path. And that's a very interesting path. If we watch the sun, we watch the moon, it would never make a path like this. It turns out uh, this is a motion described as retrograde motion. It's a very difficult thing to explain, so I'm using this quick animation to help me. Because Mars has an orbit further out from the Sun, it's moving at a different speed. So from Earth, there's a time where Mars is moving away from us, and then there's a time where it's moving towards us, only to then go away from us again. And that motion is because, you can see in the bottom part of the diagram, Earth is completing a smaller circle than Mars. And that difference in speed winds up creating a different uh, perspective on Earth. Again, this is about apparent daily motion. And that apparent daily motion is a trick because our perspective is demonstrating this motion. But in reality, it's not as such. Our mood moves very similar to our stars in an, in an arc, and it rises in the east, moves across our sky, only then to set in the west. What's unique about the moon's path in the sky is that during a monthly cycle, that's about the time it takes the moon to revolve around our earth, the moon rises and sets 50 minutes later each night. It also shifts more and more eastward as we go through that monthly cycle. And finally, the apparent motion of our sun. The sun appears to move in an arc across the sky, rising in the east, setting in the west. The highest point the sun reaches during the day is always the noon position. The path of the sun is different four times during the year. We call those the seasonal changes. The equinox in September, the winter solstice in December, the spring equinox in March, and the summer solstice, which takes place on June 21st, demonstrates the four times during the year when the sun takes a different path across our sky. The result of that path during these four different times is what contributes to the changes in our seasons and temperature on Earth, which we'll talk about more in the coming days. So just to summarize, apparent daily motion is an optical illusion that shows us that the celestial objects that we see in our night sky appear to be moving from east to west across our sky at a rate of 15 degrees per hour. Thanks for watching.